full map between various moduli space. And the talk will be very short. We just prove a big main theorem. Main theorem. <laughs> um, uh, we first introduce a basic definition. A definition of variety smooth project over the complex number C. We say it is rationally connected. If for any two points of it, there's a map. I mean, there's a rational curve inside X, which is just a map from P1 to X such that it connects these two points. We can say that F0 is X, F infinity is Y. So that's the definition. Any two points can be connected by a rational curve. And this definition is equivalent to by a theorem by Professor Collar, equivalent to that there is a map from P1 to X with the pullback of tangent shift ample. We can imagine that in this case, by writing down the deformation obstruction of this map, it can be deformed to very to to very large degree. And we call this curve very free curve. That's the definition. This def After he proved this, this, this equivalence, he named this curve very free curve. And then we introduce a main geometric abstraction construction. A com is is a nodal curve C to C P. They are union, and they form a nodal curve. They intersect transversely with each other, and it's not necessarily stable. Where C is a high genus curve, it's smooth. Any curve is smooth here. And the C1 to Cp, they are all rational. And all the C, C, C i's intersect with the high genus curve C at only one point trans transversely. And all the CIs are, have not intersection with each other. So this, this nodal curve is just, we name it a comb. It's just like a comb, something we deal with our hair. <laughs> anyway, and uh, maybe uh, with a ha high genus handle, <laughs> it's strange. And if we put the genus of C to be 0, we can also say it's a comb, but it's just a bit useless. We just don't use it. Uh, now we state the main technique theorem called smoothing of comb. This theorem is proved by Professor Kola, Professor Miyaoka, and Professor Mori. It is <coughs> this is the one for the fundamental theorems in higher dimension by rational geometry. The statement is, if x is rationally connected, we restrict to smooth projective case, and we restrict to complex compl case. The general definition can be much, much wider. We let x be a rationally connected smooth projective variety over C. <laughs> And we have any curve C belong to X, which is high genus. Then there is P map from P1 to X, such that all the pullback of tangent shift is ample. This means that we have P, P rational curve inside X, and they are all very free due to this definition. And <coughs> uh, 
and we can form this cone. C is just C, and C1 to Cp, they're just P1. We call this nodal curve to be, anyway, this is a nodal curve which is a cone like de we've defined in this. And the claim is that inside X, they first form a cone. Namely, all these P1s intersect C at only one point transversely, and they don't intersect with each other. And there's a smoothing. By taking by smoothing, we just we just say that to find a generic point in a Hilbert scheme, to a family of smooth curve inside X, such that. CT is isomorphic to C. And again, we have the vanishing of, of tangent. Of we have a cohomological version of vanishing of pullback of tangent shift. And this, this is a bit not rigorous. We, please let me. We have to see. No. Ah, let's do it here. This is not rigorous. Generally speaking, this means that there's a family of nodal curve. This is a Greek letter that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Gamma, maybe. <laughs> Gamma? Sigma. Sigma. There's a family of nodal curve over the base T, which we say there. And T can be mapped to the Hilbert scheme. <laughs> of x, by rationally. OK. t. And we can let 0 belong to t, such that pi minus 0 is our com, formed by our original curve, and the union with the p very free rational curve. And the, the map. A family of map of this of this family of normal curve to X such that F restrict to H fiber of T is a smooth is a, is a stable map, conservative stable map. With with smooth orangeing. Anyway, it just means that the special point of this family is our comb, and the general point is smooth and isomorphic to <coughs> the general point is just our CT say there, and they are isomorphic to C, and there's a map that map CT to X again. This is all still an embedding. And this is a smoothing of your original map here. OK. This is our main technical theorem. Essentially, it's proved by Kola Miyakamori, but it's not st stated in this form. Originally, they don't have this condition. But later, we realized that actually we can amplify this theorem to this case. And this is just a cohomological version of the vanishing of fullback tangent shift. This means that any curve in X after adding very free P1s and can be smoothed to another very free hygienous curve. It just becomes very free. It can be deformed very, very freely because we have this vanishing condition. Now, using this Technical theorem, we already can prove a theorem. Uh, I cannot erase this. So please let me do the proof here. 
the most important part. Okay. The main theorem we want to prove, which is a joint work of me with Yutian <coughs> in CNIS, that, okay, let x be a rationally connected smooth projective curve over C. Then, the first child group of x is generated by a rational curve. Okay, this is our main theorem today. And we have two corollary of this main theorem. The first is that if we combine a result by Professor Wozau, then we can prove that <coughs> if dimension x is 3, then the second homology of x actually generated by homology class of rational curves. So this is actually a a stronger form of Hodge conjecture for rationally connected three fold. The first step, Professor Boson already proved that it, it is generated by curves. And here we prove that it's generated by rational curves. Okay, this is the first corollary. The second corollary <laughs> the second corollary is some resulting arithmetic that to state to state the second corollary is just a bit too long. And we have to go to dinner. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> so let's prove the main theorem here. Uh, OK, I have to do the main theorem in the main blackboard. So keep this in mind. Oh. Oh. So keep this in mind. The proof is even shorter than a statement. Proof. Step one. Again, by an observation of Professor Wazang, The observation is a bit long. <laughs> <laughs> but he, by her observation, it is enough to do for algebra equivalence. Well, he has, she has an argument by her fix in his diagonal of so what's, what's that? Her diagonal deco decomposition to reduce rational equivalence to algebra equivalence. So now it's a, just a result about deformation. Step two. OK, we have C, which is belong to X. We have to show that it is algebra equivalent to a sum of rational curve. The idea is that, OK, let's find some Very free rational curve inside X to form a comp, a nodal curve, like this. Now it is C plus some rational curve. And let's then, by our main theorem, we smooth it to a general family of stable nodal map. The general member is CT, it's isomorphic to C, and we have vanishing condition. OK. C, C is actually parametrized by T. And he, T is birationally mapped to Hilbert skin of X. Okay. Since the general element of T is a stable map, we compactify T to compactify T to the whole moduli space of stable maps. Okay, X and the homology class is just C T, this curve. Oh, and the homology class is just C union C1 to C P. 
It's just C plus C1 to Cp. It's C plus some rational curve. OK, T can be mapped inside, uh, can be compactified to be something inside the mo quantum switch modular space of stable maps. And somehow, we don't need this modular space. We have a natural forgetful map from mg0 x c t, which parametrically tries all the stable maps to the stable curves. And this is a very famous modular space invented by Professor Deling and Manford. And by uh, ancient theorem by two German giants, it's irreducible. In some German paper, <laughs> it's irreducible. And now we have a vanishing of tangent con condition. OK. Ne so by elementary uh, by elementary homological algebra, we can see that, OK. This homology implies that A is proper, smooth, and subjective at CT. OK, this is just by definition of stable map. Once you write this down and write definition, you will see A is proper, smooth, and subjective over our CT. Uh, so the, the proof doesn't seem shorter than the theorem. <laughs> but it's very easy. Do you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the time that you have. It's very easy. I, I want to get more time to talk about it, so I cheat you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm not. I'm finishing now. All right. You can already see how to prove it now. But where do you raise? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, CT, the map is probably subjective. So, let's map CT to the nodal curve, which is an element of modular space of stable curve. It's just all modular space of curve. Since this is redu irreducible, <coughs> we can degenerate it to a very Isolated element in a boundary is a sum of every component of it is a P1. And since A star is subjective, we can find another element here inside X, which maps to this degenerated nodal curve because A is subjective. And this is a sum of rational curve inside X that is algebra equivalent to CT. Hence, it's algebra equivalent to C plus some rational curve. So C is algebra equivalent to a sum of rational curve minus another sum of rational curve. So we prove it. Yeah. The idea is very easy. But the result is not, not, not small, I think. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs>